She was a grocer's daughter who became the first female prime minister of Great Britain. Margaret Thatcher was called the Iron Lady for her personal and political strength. The Tory leader swept into office in 1979 with the promise of transforming the British economy, which was suffering from strikes and inflation. We decided there was no alternative to tough medicine that was going to have to be sustained for some time. And it was accepted because there was no alternative. She cut taxes, privatized state industries, and deregulated financial markets. Opponents accused the prime minister of widening the gap between the rich and poor. Thatcher also restored Britain's clout in world affairs and built a special bond with her American counterpart and political soulmate, Ronald Reagan. The leaders had their disagreements, but shared similar conservative worldviews. It was closer ideologically and warmer personally than any relationship between any other British Prime Minister and any other American President. Thatcher convinced Reagan that Mikhail Gorbachev was a Soviet leader they could do business with. He was willing to admit that some things were wrong in the Soviet Union, which was very unusual. And Reagan backed the Prime Minister in Britain's 1982 Falklands War with Argentina. The conflict cost 255 British lives and cemented Thatcher's reputation as a resolute leader. A prime minister never expects to send people into battle. I was agonized over it. But you couldn't leave our people captive of a military junta of the Argentine. Thatcher was the only British prime minister in the 20th century to serve three consecutive terms. In 1990, after a leadership struggle within her own party, Thatcher was forced to resign. Though no longer on the front lines, Thatcher still had political sway, as Baroness Thatcher, sitting in Britain's upper chamber, the House of Lords. Later in life, as her health deteriorated, public appearances became rare. But Thatcher's reputation was already set as a dominant figure of the 20th century whose influence is still being felt today. I'm Karen Kaifa reporting.